how much time and money do you spend keeping up with the latest trends? Are you constantly searching for an easy fix to your financial problem? Are you willing to do whatever scheme that pops up on TikTok? Today I'm going to be talking about how to get out of the trend trap by laying a proper foundation for financial success. Now you already know what to do, hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any of our content. Let's get into it. So recently my followers have been asking, Marvin, why don't you talk about trading topics like how to make money in cryptocurrency or how to make 300k passive income in a week or how to buy 300 units of real estate without paying for them, you know, or how to buy virtual real estate. I think two weeks ago there's, there's a, a guy that I saw who was like bragging that he had bought virtual real estate next to Snoop Dogg. I think he had bought it on Meta and I'm like, guys, really? Like, give me a break, you know? And some people have said to me, you know, this is an entrepreneurship channel, right? And I'm like, yeah. So why do you talk about things like greed and self-drive and self-awareness or character? You know, those things are kind of boring, you know? We want the nice stuff, we want the stimulating stuff and things like greed are not trendy enough. Well, I can talk about those things and I will when that time comes. And if I don't have enough adequate knowledge about a topic, I can always bring in a guest uh, in that field to teach us uh, that game. Anyway, my answer is first, if you're a person who always jumps on uh, every trend that comes along, you're going to fall for traps. And second, I have not yet made 300K in a week or owned 300 units of real estate without paying for them. So I, I'm not trying to be a guru on things that I haven't yet done, right? And third is, this is not a get rich quick type of channel where, you know, we tell people to invest in a certain uh, plan to get a return tomorrow. You know, like you invest today and then you get your return tomorrow. This is a mindset channel. This is a channel that will help you build a legacy. We are in for a long haul. You know, one thing about trends and people who are trending is that they are only here for a short period of time. That's literally the definition of a trend. It's not something that uh, stands uh, the test of time. The get rich quick guys, they shine maximum, uh, I would say they shine a year, one year, and then they are gone. Today they are ranking in the top 10 and tomorrow they are forgotten. Everyone seems to be a guru nowadays teaching people how to make 20k or 100k in one week. And, and those are the videos that are trending right now. Those are the videos that are going viral, you know. But how many channels right now uh, are talking about character and stewardship and, you know, uh, self-drive and, and how to be a good manager? You know, those videos can be boring, but they're the most important ones. Because if you want to be a good entrepreneur, you will need to be a good manager of, let's say, a job or a household and finances you're, you already have. Look at how you take care of another person's business and judge yourself. If I owned this business, how would I rate myself? Would I be proud of the work I am doing? Think about it. Think about your daily job, the, 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 the job that you do. If you are the owner of that job and how the focus and the energy that, that you put in, would you be proud of what you're doing? If yes, then, you, then you're going to be a good, a good entrepreneur if you ever step out. You know, uh, the Bible says in Genesis 8, that as long as the earth remains, there will be always seed time and harvest time. People nowadays want to uh, plant today and reap tomorrow. They don't want the hassle of watering the seed uh, so that it can uh, germinate, grow, and bring out a good harvest. Before you get the harvest, there's going to be a lot of hard work and time spent waiting 
if you plant in great soil, of course, and provide all the necessary things that, uh, that your plant needs to flourish, you will for sure have a harvest. It might take time and effort, but you will see the benefit of your labor. This is what I choose to focus on and talk about on this channel. Here we are laying the necessary foundation of starting your business and following your dreams. As you step out in, into your next venture, you're going to need some patience. You're going to need some grit. You're going to need some character. You're going to need a lot of self-drive. All these things will help you grow into a more grounded uh, entrepreneur. Everything worth having will always take time. And you'll be tested for it, by the way. If you build a weak foundation with a get-rich-quick mentality, your house is going to fall. Your house is going to fall. In fact, the Bible says in Luke 6, 47, 49, that everyone who comes to me and hears my words and does them, I will show you what he is like. He is like a man building a house uh, who dug deep and laid the foundation on the rock. And when the flood arose, the stream broke again against that house and could not shake it because it had it had been well built but the one who hears and does not do them is like a man who built a house on the ground without a foundation when the stream broke against it immediately it fell and the ruin of that house was great and of course you know what warren buffett says <laughs> that only when the tide goes out you do discover who was swimming naked you, you need to work. You, you need to work on the intangible things before you can get the tangible things. Because if you only focus on getting money, come rain, come shine, like you're so focused on getting money and neglecting the intangible things, that house will one day fall apart because it, it, it did not just start on a well-built foundation. It, again, I'm reminded of, of Proverbs, uh, Proverbs 13, 11 that says... Uh, Wealth gained hastily will dwindle, but whoever gathers little by little will increase it. I love that scripture, Proverbs 13, 11. Make sure that as you get that money, you don't get it faster than the growth of your character. It is important to always check yourself that when you're making that money, are you becoming someone else? Or is there still that sense of humility as you're being elevated. Of course, I'm not talking about uh, people who feel guilty uh, for making money or, you know, becoming uh, rich. No, uh, you know, uh, and, and, and uh, I remember I watched a documentary on, I think, DW, and it, you know, it was about the millionaires in Germany who are living in guilt for making so much, so much money, who are, you know, they were driving simple cars, they were living simple lives, but they were millionaires, they had a lot of money. And I, and I think we need a healthy balance. Like, like yes, don't be full, you know, of yourself. But also you need to be proud of, of what you have achieved, when, you know, when, when, when God blesses you. You need to have a healthy balance. I am so serious about this that even when I'm looking for, let's say, a coach or a mentor, I look at things like this, the intangible things. Like how, I need to know, uh, how do you treat your wife? or husband, or people that are close to you, because for me, that matters. And I know some of you are like, ah, oh, whatever whatever they do outside my coaching or, or, my, or, or my mentoring is, is really none of my, my business. Uh, yes, it's kind of not, but mainly it is my business. Because you know why? After a while, the more I hang around you, the more you speak into my life, the more the things that you believe in begin to rub, to rub off of me. And I, I mean, I, I don't care how nice of a person you are. For example, it's my personal value that if you like, if you like using cuss words in your everyday language, there's no way, there, there is no way we can collaborate in business. Now, that's just me. And, and we don't have to agree on that. I need to know your values and the things that you stand for, for me to col collaborate with you. There's no way I'm going to collaborate with you or work with you if 
you are always cursing out, you know, using curse words. No. Why? Because 1 Corinthians 15, 33 says, Don't be deceived. Bad company corrupts good character. Yes, I'm interested in you, of course, making a lot of money. I want you to make a lot of money. I want you to live a good life. You know, I want you to take care of your family, be a blessing to those around you. I want you to do so much good with your money because of your developed or mature character. Did you know that if you have developed those intangible things that uh, we are talking about, like let's say greed and perseverance and self-drive or character, if you lost everything you had, you would without a shadow of a doubt gain everything back you lost. Why? Because there is a proven pattern on how you got uh, whatever you lost. Now, it might take, of course, a, a little longer, but you will surely get it back. That's the message I am trying to send out. So don't be deceived. All of us are working on, on something. There, there's something that we are working on, you know, character-wise, you know. Some of us are working on two things, others are working on uh, three things. There is no one who has, who has it all together. And as for me, one of the things that I've been working on and practicing is I want to keep growing to listen more than I speak. Especially when I'm in front of greatness or when I get into contact with people who have achieved uh, more than I have or people who have more influence, people who have uh, more power, you know, people who are more knowledgeable in, in certain areas. I, I did find that my tendency was to talk so much and bring out my two accolades in front of those great people that I was with so, so that I would look important and great. By the end of our discussion together, it was all about me and what I had done and what I had achieved. And, and I had learned nothing, you know, we would end the conversation and I had learned nothing from them. And you know what? You know, they would let you talk. Now, you'll be surprised at how just that lesson of being able to listen more than you speak when you're in front of uh, people who are more knowledgeable, people who have more influence, power, money, who have achieved more than you than you have. You'll be surprised at how the more you listen than you talk, how the only that can increase your net worth. Because you learn a lot every time you are in front of them. Proverbs 18, to, uh, 18 verse 2 says that a fool finds no pleasure in understanding but delights in airing his own opinion. <laughs> Did you hear that that, 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 that scripture? Proverbs 17, 28 also says that even a fool is thought wise if he keeps silent and discerning if he holds his tongue. I like, I like those scriptures. So needless to say, I was a fool. I mean, that's the hard truth. I was a fool every because I kept talking every time I was in front of great people, people who had achieved a lot. I wanted to just keep telling them of, about the things that I had done, you know. So that's why I started out on that journey of listening more than I speak every time I'm in front of greatness. Maybe, maybe you also want to grow in that area like me. You know, just try it and see. Try it and, and let me know. I feel like this video I've been ranting and ranting you know, for a bit. But for me, my aim was to let you know that uh, the purpose of this channel is to help you pursue entrepreneurship and ultimately leave a legacy through a proven pattern of achievement. This is not a place where you will hear uh, the get rich quick stuff. No, no, no. This is a place that wants you to achieve financial independence with the right mindset. And I hope we can learn more that every time we tune in, we know that our mindset is going to be changed for the better. Thank you so, so much for watching the House of Entrepreneurs, uh, where we help others pursue entrepreneurship. And here are some videos that I think you like. And, so, and also, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and like and share this content. Thank you so much.